Hello, my name is William Bradley. I'm a gynecologic oncologist here at Frederick in the Medical College of Wisconsin. I've been practicing here for three years, since 2008. Uh, gynecologic oncology is a subspecialty of the field of obstetrics and gynecology. We're trained in specifically taking care of women with cancer of the gynecologic tract, so of the ovaries, of the uterus, of the cervix, the vulva, the, the vagina. Our training includes a gamut of surgical skills, chemotherapy, and really taking care of every aspect of the patient's cancer care. Um, we do this in conjunction with other cancer specialists, including radiation oncologists and pathologists, but we are really your doctor when you get this diagnosis. Our care really covers the gamut of gynecologic cancer and, for that matter, complicated pelvic diseases. Um, we do surgery for early stage cancers, late stage cancers, we do chemotherapy if appropriate for early or late stage cancers, and we take care of all kinds of patients, either newly diagnosed or patients who come to us for second opinion. So every woman's cancer diagnosis is unique and an individual process. It's really important that we put all the information together when we start to design a treatment plan. So we need to um, know that patient's pathology, know their radiology, know where, if anywhere, the cancer is gone, what's going on with this particular patient. If it's a second opinion, we review their pathology, we review their radiology with our radiologists. If it's a new diagnosis, we make sure that we've gotten all the tests that we need before we start to design a treatment plan. We meet together, the GYN oncologists here, with uh, other cancer doctors in a tumor board. We do this on a weekly basis and we discuss all our new cancer diagnoses and our new patients. If a radiation oncologist is appropriate, they're present at the tumor board and they can discuss what they think they have to add to the patient's care. These are all the things that we put together when we design somebody's cancer care plan. If a patient is eligible for a clinical trial that we have open, we discuss that and we assure their eligibility. So these, these, are, the, these are really the salient things, the most important things that we have to review before we can make a recommendation. So one of the great things about being a GYN oncologist is that I get to do a lot of different things for women with their with this specific kinds of cancer. My specialty includes treatment with surgery and treatment with chemotherapy. I get to manage a patient from their diagnosis to uh, through their therapy and and beyond, and that's a one and the follow up beyond. That's a wonderful thing to be able to do. Uh, the specialty includes surgical treatments with minimally invasive surgeries, robotic surgeries chemotherapy treatments with both intravenous and intraperitoneal chemotherapy, as well as with novel agents. We have a number of different clinical trials available, and again, if a patient's appropriate for those, we get to offer them that kind of cutting edge care, which is great. I think it's absolutely imperative that every woman get as much information before they design a treatment plan and commit to a treatment plan as for something so important like cancer as they can. Um, a gynecologic oncologist is an excellent resource for a woman with a GYN cancer. It may be that a, that a patient needs the surgical expertise that a gynecologic oncologist offers. It may be that they need the chemotherapeutic expertise. Remember that we deal only with GYN cancers. So we are the most familiar subspecialty with these kinds of cancers. Uh, and that's, that's the resource that we can offer. I'm always happy to have a patient seek a second opinion. We want to provide the best care we can and the most information a patient has before they start a treatment plan ensures that that can be done. A question I ask myself is, what would I do for my mother, my wife, my sister? Who would I want them to see? And I'd want them to see somebody who knows the most about these kinds of cancers.